What's going on guys? Jordan here coming back at you again with another episode of Beer Views. Tonight we're going to be reviewing another Firestone Walker brew. This is the Union Jack IPA. This is coming in at an ABV of 7%. So this is actually stronger than the last one we did, which I believe was, I got the can right here, I'll see, 6.7%. So, 0.3 difference, not really that much of a difference, but this is, uh, oh yeah, it says right there on the front, actually, 7%. I didn't see that. Really cool label, really cool can. Uh, this is the one that I just reviewed. Uh, if you guys haven't seen the video already, go check it out. That's the Hopnosis. I thought this was a really good beer. I gave this one a 9 out of 10. Very solid. Very solid start to this uh, variety pack. This did come in a variety pack that I got at Walmart. Uh, I believe that I believe I paid sixteen forty eight for it, so it was just over seventeen bucks after tax. It's got four different uh, varieties of beer in there. I believe, yeah, yeah. There's three of each flavor, so I thought it was a pretty good deal for what it is. But we're gonna crack into this one. Uh, th these guys are out of California. These are all West Coast style IPAs, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, Let's crack into it and see what we... I'm gonna fucking restart. What's going on, guys? Jordan here coming back at you again with another episode of Beer Views. Tonight, we're gonna be reviewing another Firestone Walker brew. That is going to be the... Hold on. Union Jack IPA. This one's coming in at a whopping 7% ABV. This one's a little bit stronger than the one that I just literally reviewed. You guys are seeing this a day later, but I actually just did the review of this. That's the uh, Hopnosis IPA that was uh, pretty good. I gave it a 9 out of 10. It's a de it's definitely uh, it's definitely a nice start to this variety pack. Uh, this came in a 12-pack. You get three of each beer. There's four different beers in the pack. 17 bucks after tax. Pretty good deal in my opinion. But nice start with a 9 out of 10 there. We're going to go ahead and crack into this one. Again, this is 7% ABV. Union Jack IPA. And uh, Firestone Walker is out of California. It says right there on the front, a California, a California beer company. So let's go ahead and crack into it and see what we got. But I really did enjoy that, that hop nosis. That was pretty good. This one, again, on the aroma, definitely a hop West Coast style smell. Not as much aroma as we had on the, the uh, first beer over there, the hop nosis, but we'll pour it up. It's also definitely darker as well. A lot of head on that. Could be just the way I poured. Uh, four finger head. White soapy bubbles. Just get a little bit of the hop aroma there, honestly. Not anything crazy. It's it's definitely not as strong on the nose as the, uh, the hop noses was. I think I can also smell a little bit of a maltiness to this one. Yeah, and it's not crazy dark or anything. It's just a darker golden appearance. Head's dissipating nicely. Let's dive in, though. Cheers, guys. Okay. So this one's definitely a little bit lower on the uh, IBUs, I can tell. This is definitely less hoppy than the uh, the Hopnosis was. Obviously, it's in the name, Hopnosis. It's going to be hoppy. This one, uh, I think, dare I say, a little bit more malty on the, th on the flavor. Yeah. 
It also has a nice sweetness to it as well. Now, one thing that I will say that's a little bit similar to uh, the Hopnosis with this one is it has that little bit of a citrusy bite to it. Not as much as the as the first one, the Hopnosis, but there's definitely a little bit of a citrusy kick there. This one's pretty good, I'm not going to lie. It's, uh... It's, 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 it's slightly bitter. It kind of sticks with you on the tongue, but it's not like overwhelming or overly done. It's, it's, I, I think it's done beautifully. It tastes great. And it also, another thing that I was going to mention is with like the, the citrusy like aspect that this one gives. This one's less on the grapefruit. I guess you would consider grapefruit a citrusy fruit as well, but the the hopnosis had a pretty good like grapefruit type aftertaste to it. This one has more of like a uh, I don't know, maybe like a lemon or something. It's not exactly a grapefruit. You know, grapefruits are kind of bitter. This is not as bitter but definitely more malty. It's definitely sweeter than uh, than Hopnosis. That's good. Uh, as far as the alcohol, I'm not really getting any alcohol. Uh, at 7%, you think you would, and I might be just an, a, a tad bit, but I think they did a really good job in masking the flavor of the alcohol with the hops and the malt and everything. I think they did an excellent job on this one. I I think I like this one better. I think this one's my favorite so far out of the pack. And that, that like I said in the in the previous video, that's a damn good deal. I mean, you got 12 beers, 17 bucks, and some of them are in the 7% range. This one, that the Hopnosis was 6.7. It's an excellent start to this pack so far, for sure. So, uh, as far as a rating goes on this, go ahead and put this can in my can collection. Because all of the cans from this pack are really cool. Uh, got two more that's going to be coming out. So, stay tuned for that. But we're going to focus on this one. Let's get into the rating. We're going to give this one... A 9.2 out of 10. This is uh, slightly better than Hopnosis, in my opinion. I just, to me personally, I just like the flavors of this one a little bit more. Yeah. That's just a good beer right there. A uh, definite... Good take, good take on a West Coast style IPA for sure. Now, is this something that I would want to drink all the time? No. Uh, am I gonna drink a Natural Light next? Yes. It's just not something that I would want to drink more than one, maybe two of. But uh, that's just me. It's definitely a good night starter for sure. So 9.2 out of 10 from me here at Beer Views. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to hit me with a thumbs up. And if you guys have any suggestions on anything you would like me to try in the future, leave it in the comment section below and I'll do my best to try to find it and give it a review. As always, until next time, cheers. Thanks for watching.